Hello and thank you for joining me for your daily tarot. So today we are taking a look at what does your future together look like? Um, it is a love reading, okay? So if you're not interested in love reads, then you might want to consider giving this one a bit of a a hop skip jump okay right but for everyone else who is staying then we're taking a look at your current energy the person that you're thinking of's current energy and how it is likely going to play out and as always we will be taking a look at some advice for you all as well okay so let's get into this what is going on for our collective in love and what does their future look like together please Okay, right, so your cutting energy, Empress, beautiful, Divine Feminine. It doesn't make a difference if you identify as being masculine or feminine, okay? We've all got Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine energies within us, and the trick is to harmonize, balance, and utilize both of these internal energies. So at the moment, your energy is coming out as the Empress, which is really, really good. It's literally you're being focused on what you can create in your life for yourself for your loved ones because it's very kind loving caring nurturing okay and the queen of cups so your energy is incredibly honorable loyal um very self-sufficient yeah there you go strength two major arcanas here for your own energy so you're sitting tall sitting proud um you've definitely a lot of things to be proud of um a lot of things that you have achieved and things that you are still yet to achieve that you've to be incredibly proud of okay it's a really beautiful strong strong energy theirs is coming out as the knight of swords so they're definitely wanting to speak to you the eight of coins possibly about something to do with work or the logistics of how this connection is going to work something like that and the four of cups okay so the person that you're thinking of at the moment they're not feeling as reassured about the whole thing as what you are okay um because they they're they're not happy with something here with this four of cups so before we pull any more cards from that deck we're going to take a breather and we're going to clarify what is it that this person's wanting to speak to you about and what is it that they're not happy about at this point in time okay so what is it that they're wanting to speak about please with the knights of swords they're also saying that you're the strongest person that they know as well judgment the two of cups off center and the three of wands off center okay so this person's actually wanting to speak to you to get your advice on something here okay um potentially it is to do with a couple a couple that they're dealing with or another person that they are part of a couple in okay again this energy is going to resonate differently for everybody but with this judgment card coming out here it's saying that this person is wanting your help um so that they can reach some kind of a sensible decision here with this judgment energy okay okay so they are also wanting to speak to you to basically clarify a few things with you here as well about your opinion on continuing this thing basically that's going on between you because there is some kind of a decision here that's needing to be made for the future for the future plans that they're also needing your help with okay now let's take a look at what it is that they're currently not very happy about at the moment so what is it that they're not happy about please for our collective whoa seven of wands okay now all of this has come out in a scattered position okay 
Seven of Wands, Ace of Wands, Ten of Swords, interesting. The Eight of Cups and Four of Wands, okay. Um, so they're not happy about the current status quo, basically. Uh, they are bored and discontent of feeling like there isn't enough time. There isn't enough time. I don't know why they would be feeling that way, but that, that's what the energy is telling me here. Um, and remember, these cards, they all came out in a scattered position, okay? So it's like they're, they're not prepared to make a final decision yet until they've spoken to you, until they've gotten your opinion here. Um, there is a huge question mark surrounding should they end a situation here with the Ten of Swords off center? Should they end a situation maybe with a friend that they've been at odds with or another person that they're also dealing with? Okay, with the Four of Wands being here as well. Um, and with that coming out scattered, it indicates some kind of instability. All right. So this person, they at the moment, they don't feel stable in their current situation. It could be their current situation at work, their current situation with a difficult friend, anything like that. OK, but again, all of this is included in the reason why this person's needing to speak to you. OK, right. So um, how will this play out for our collective, please? How will this? Thank you. The Fool. Nice. Um, so there is a new journey here, a new beginning with The Fool, right? Um, they're saying a new adventure and the Ten of Swords. Interesting. So listen, here's the thing. It's going to be vital for the person that you're dealing with to sort out whatever bullshit this is that they've got going on they're gonna have to deal with that before they can take the connection any further with you okay because you've got this ten of swords here now it's possible that they have um recently gone through some kind of a betrayal here uh, by an individual that they presumed that they could trust okay it looks like that ending that they were speaking to you about is going to go ahead. It is going to go ahead. They are going to end a, a friendship here. They are going to end a connection here. They're basically, they are going to be freeing themselves from whatever it is that has been keeping them uh, preoccupied and whatever it is that's been keeping them away from uh, creating a beautiful life with you. Okay, so they're, they're definitely re uh rejigging things they're reprioritizing things they've they have become pissed off actually because they've realized that they haven't given you enough time they haven't been uh as affectionate towards you as what they could have been and they're basically pissed off because there there has been a bit of a a gap, a bit of a distance here that's been created between you two and they're wanting to find ways on how they can close that gap, close that distance between you, bring you two closer together and that is going to involve a ten of swords somewhere. It is going to involve ending a situation elsewhere. Now this could be a situation where, for example, say if you, do, if you didn't like their friends because their friends were troublemakers, you know, they might not have initially listened to you and then they've realized, oh shit, actually, yeah, uh, being friends with these people, uh, looking out for them all the time, it is actually keeping me away from the person that I love and care about. Um, I do actually have my priorities wrong here. Okay, so it could also be a situation like that as well. I do feel strongly here, Collective, that you are the one that's going to get the blame for this particular ending that your person is instigating. Okay, so whoever it is that's going to feel hurt and betrayed by your person, 
they are going to bounce back to you and basically blame you for everything because they're like that look if they had never gotten involved with you then they would still be you know that they would still be dealing with us type thing you know it is a little bit of jealousy that there is definitely animosity here that's being created through this situation um but again i'm not seeing that um these individuals the, that your person's mucking around with or whatever this situation is i'm not seeing that they are going to be successful in either breaking you two up or stopping you two from coming together or stopping you two from working together here making something beautiful together they're, they're just not going to be successful at uh stopping you both okay it just at this point it just is what it is and at the bottom of the deck you've got the tower yeah um a sudden shift in the dynamics here with this particular situation that's the tower energy and it can it can come on really quite unexpected okay so the best thing that you can do in this situation is just respond as and when it comes in okay but do do understand and do know that there is a massive shift in the dynamics to this situation okay what else can you tell us for our collective please for what they thank you wedding <laughs> yeah so what your future looks like together is very possible that you'll end up marrying this person taking your relationship to the next level one step at a time yeah uh, so when your person's saying that they're wanting to shift things from their current dynamics, they genuinely meant it. Okay, closure. Not all connections are meant to be. Accept closure. Yeah. Um, so they are working on closing out old cycles. Oh. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, abundance at the bottom of the deck. Allow your heart to receive the abundant love the universe has to offer secrets something is hidden from you someone isn't being truthful it's your person it's your person they're not being a hundred percent truthful with you about a situation and that again is part and parcel of everything that they want to speak to you about because they know that they're not going to be able to continue this uh, situation with you without being completely truthful and honest with you so, so they have been holding back, okay, but they're going to be honest with you about exactly everything that they've been holding back from you with, okay? Passion, keep the flame of passion alive. It is the heartbeat of love. Twin flame, th this might be a situation where this person is your twin flame counterpart. It could be. Again, not everybody's going to subscribe to the twin flame dynamics and you know what that's fine okay just let people believe in whatever they believe in okay it's no one else's place to say oh my god twin flames are all bullshit maybe they are maybe they're not okay until you've met your own twin flame you'll never really know for certain okay an attraction you're attracting the right person at the right time in your life yeah yeah, so it does indicate to me that you and whoever this individual is, you know, it is kind of meant to be, you, you know. Um, yes, you've got a lot of people here who are basically trying to stop this uh, union from coming in. But again, they're not going to be successful. Like when when two people are meant to be together there is no separating them like that that's just not a thing it just doesn't happen yeah right so let's take a look at more messages that are coming out for you to do with this situation so either way this person is absolutely besotted with you okay koala gentleness gentleness brings us closer to each other how can you connect and bond okay so this person is wanting to connect with you on a much deeper level and they're wanting to um i was going to say speed up the bonding process 
it's kind of like that they're wanting to solidify they're wanting to make things official here with you okay the cheerful squirrel oh god don't speak about squirrels right now i'm still upset about peanut oh my days that was just horrific wasn't it the cheerful squirrel treasure the memories you make with your loved ones are your true treasures yeah poor little squirrel so making happy memories with this person it also indicates that you have a lot of um, new memories to make together as well the soaring crow wisdom you're intelligent resourceful and can adapt trust in your own wisdom and soar high yeah the soaring crow being able to see this situation from a higher perspective it's kind of like understanding why your person was so resistant at telling you everything that was going on with them okay watching the ducks nurturing helping things grow is so rewarding whether it's a garden an idea or a tiny child what can you nurture yeah <laughs> that's very divine feminine energy isn't it with the whole sort of mother earth mother nature vibe that's going on there what can you nurture so it does feel to me as if um your person is going to be looking towards you for some sort of support here okay um a little bit of a nudge perhaps in the right direction as well okay what else whoa 14 is anger rising from your pain so at the moment your person is in a lot of emotional pain okay so with your sensible caring nurturing vibe i feel strongly that you're going to be encouraging your person of how they can rise from their anger and how they can use their anger at the situation that they're going through or the situation they're being put through how they can use that anger in a productive way how they can use that for fuel for improvement okay and 38 is faster you have plans to make yeah you've lots of plans to make together here okay beautiful energies i think this is probably the best reading that i've had out all week <laughs> to be completely honest with you uh, the other readings have been really quite heavy <laughs> and intense so yeah it's um it's a welcome relief this one okay what else for our collective please nice <laughs> i am so incredible the rain boast <laughs> hey beautiful let me tell you you've got it you're fucking amazing celebrate every part of yourself you're a gift yeah yeah rain boast um it's fine it's fine you're allowed to boast about yourself every so often <laughs> um it's only i guess it's only when people do it too much that it becomes a bit of an uh our sake um you know but th th they're basically saying with this one that you should be very proud of yourself you should be very proud of the way that you handled yourself and they're saying as well that your person loves the fact that you didn't immediately just jump to the worst conclusion you could have thought of you know so yeah um i guess well done <laughs> uh but that is what i have for you guys today i genuinely hope that that reading has been helpful to someone um don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you did like it and you want to see more information on how you can place a private booking with me if you feel that you're needing one you can find that in my description box below or you can simply just visit me on my website which is phoenixkiataro.com thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye Thank you.